when you look at the number of people who are appearing for NEET, 18 lakh, 19 lakh, you kind of feel lost that uh, you are nobody in this crowd. So never let that feeling uh, sing into your heart. Okay, always believe in yourself, have faith that yes, you can be one of the toppers yourself. So frankly speaking, uh, I was asleep at that time. I had to be woken up and uh, I was still dizzy when I checked my result and it was a triple digit AIR which I was not at all expecting. So yeah, it was very, very exciting and then everyone at the house woke up and uh, I couldn't really sleep at that night with all the calls coming in and the excitement which set in. So yeah, it was a night to remember. It helps you save your energy because when we get back from school, we notice the difference. Uh, one or two hours are taken for refreshments and everything. Then your time is saved. The traveling time is saved. You do not waste your time talking to people here and there. So those two classes, if you stay dedicated, you will gain a lot from it. After that, after a short break, you can go with your self-studies. So I uh, started Vedanto in class 11. And I believe that Vedanta was a one-stop platform. I didn't have to look at any other place to get something. Uh, the classes were superb. We had so many tests, so many questions. So you can completely rely on it and just your few standard textbooks and you are good to go. My parents also motivated me to give these examinations, Olympiads and everything apart from that. And uh, there was never a problem of resources. They were always uh, happy and uh, they always supplied me with the books and everything and apart from that there was the uh, emotional support too. During the last month before NEET I used to get good enough marks in my mock tests but just a week before that uh, my marks dropped to about uh, 600, 610 in several tests and uh, I didn't realize I was not getting it why it's occurring and at that time I could share everything with my younger sister so I am thankful to her for that and uh, it was a great emotional support from her side and then I just gave my exam with full, you know, enthusiasm. Yes, I think it does align your views in that direction. You can start with a little bit. No one's asking you to put and invest your complete hours to it. But yeah, a bit of it will definitely help you and align you in that direction. So definitely uh, you get into that competitive mindset and yeah, it helps a lot. Otherwise, you're coming in class 11 and it's a whole new thing for you if you have not been given these examinations. So our path was made very simple for us. We were given the right strategies at the right time and uh, everything how we need to study, how much we need to study, everything was told to us. So it was much simpler for us. And uh, ultimately, Vedantu has uh, organized this function and it's a great moment for all of us and thank you for the same. I used to have these plots at the back of my mind, probably because I myself used to read these books a lot. And But I never thought that I would give them the shape of a book. So again, the family support came in here. And you know, that idea never occurred to me that I'll become an author at such a young age. So I decided to give it a go when I was in class 8. And there I could finally write my first book. And after that, of course, it was much simpler after that. And I wrote three more. So all my books are mainly thriller mysteries. Uh, this one is a little on the dramatic and philosophical side too. It's named The Delusional Swan. First thing is you must never compromise on your sleep. If your body is used to 6 hours, 7 hours of sleep, you must go for it because I myself never compromised on it. What matters is that if you are studying for those 6 hours, it should be completely efficient. So yes, do not compromise on that and you can surely give time to your hobbies also. I myself used to watch movies every Saturday and Sunday. When you look at the number of people who are appearing for NEET, 18 lakh, 19 lakh, you kind of feel lost that uh, you are nobody in this crowd. So never let that feeling uh, sing into your heart. Okay, always believe in yourself, have faith that yes, you can be one of the toppers yourself. All need requires is question practice and regular revisions, multiple rounds of revision and following your teachers and keeping faith in yourself. That's it. So anyone who is willing to work hard can surely crack it because the level is not very high. Always try to be their friend and not just a critic all the time. 
be with them uh, and being your friend the child will yourself trust the child will himself trust you and share everything with you parents should support the child whenever for example if they have done good in their tests mock tests or bad in their mock tests the child should be uh, the child should not feel scared of their parents of uh, for sharing their marks with them and they should be their backbone whenever they are getting bad marks and also be with them when they are getting good and definitely this journey has been with its ups and downs there were exciting moments there were depressing moments but ultimately i believe that uh, these two years i'll always remember them throughout my life.